in this series, I'm going to allow myself to let my imagination run wild. These are the sarsen stones of the stone circle in Avebury in England. And I just wonder if they might not have placed these. This is the largest megalithic stone circle in the world. It dwarfs Stonehenge. But I'm seeing a lot of the same kinds of shapes and maybe they chose these rocks for a very specific reason. Those look a lot like pulmonary arteries to me and you've got the harp shape there once again. And again there might just be my imagination running wild but you can see it's got the teardrop shape if we look at it from the side it dips in a little bit on the underside yeah and it comes up on the front side and there's the the what looks like the remains of a of an opening it's an indentation both at the top Mm -hmm. and at the side and so this this is very likely petrified heart Mm -hmm. these rocks have all got the same shape of africa or like a harp. Um, they're nearly all whole pieces that haven't been broken. Yeah, uh, we can this see one has a fracture, and this that's one actually revealing the the ventricle, the the the, uh, the largest of the chambers of the heart. Those are the, the pulmonary arteries going in right there. On the back side is the entry for the aorta nice. right here. And uh, and then you've got the exact same configuration here. Look at that. This one's way more detailed with the, the papillary muscles, which are the muscles that open the valves of the yeah, heart. You can see and then you've got the aorta back there, and um, you've got the, the opening for the coronary artery. This is known as the co- coronary sulcus, where the coronary artery sits, and it sits above this fatty portion of the yeah. heart. So that sulcus is there, and then it goes around, and there's the other entrance. So it's amazing this that one rock it has well. 20 different anatomical correlations. And it's just one rock. A, and, and then, then each of these are being following wet. the same pattern, though they don't have the same degree of detail. But here you can see the the, the openings to the the pulmonary arteries there. That's a beaut. That one. Yeah. It's cracked at the bottom. And I yeah. love how how they go so fleshy when you've got them wet as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just insane. All different colours from all different kinds of um, animals or beasts, and like you say, they they can have different in, uh, de- indentations because they can be um, petrified when yeah. when they're either um, expanding or compressed. And yeah, a lot of critics would say that um, you know I'm I'm cherry picking my information, um, you know, but uh, you know here's another one. You can see it's the same. This one broke. But you can see the same, same uh, openings and indentations. It's not always an opening. Sometimes it's just the remains of an opening. But this one, it has that shape, just like the others that we're talking about. A lot of times, the bottom will be either curved inward or flat. And then the top will have this shape. But it'll also oftentimes have like a three-plane thing coming off. Like going one direction, another direction, and another direction. And it'll be f- typically flat on top like all of these are. And, um, but then, so you have the planes, and then the bottom will be either flat or curved inward, and then you'll have that, that upside down teardrop shape. Yeah. This one, uh, my, my partner, she found it, and she, uh, asked me if I wanted it, and, and I was like, well, it's not as detailed as I'm looking for, so we were going to leave it, so she tossed it, and it broke open, and it revealed the inside. Wow. And this is what's known as trabecula carne, which I, I show in um, one, of the, one of the videos. Um, petrified, or, uh, petrified organs, giant's hearts, and how to spot them. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what does that mean, trabecula carne? Is trabecula it... carne is the, is the internal portion of the, the, the ventricles and how... It, you, you see it in the video. It basically looks like flesh. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an, a good example of one that might be able to potentially reveal some DNA if I... Yeah, it looks like there's still some some juice in that one. Yeah. Yeah, and then... Well uh, done, Mike. You you can see see up here, there's a bunch of little ones here. And they come... So yeah, you can find these on on beaches, 
pebble beaches, you can find them on riverbeds, dry riverbeds. They're everywhere. You can find them up the mountain. Look at that. It's even a blood vessel up there on the right. And another equally as big, also with openings. And hopefully you haven't jumped ahead without actually knowing the anatomy because otherwise you might just think I'm crazy thinking that these were once the hearts of gigantic beings. But um, I'm pretty convinced. Hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Share and tell your friends. Go looking for some of these yourself and see if you can find them.